everybody, it's Donna from Donna's Dream Works, and I have a quick project to share for today. Um, I put together this album as primarily a prototype for another album I wanted to make, and I just wanted to kind of try out the uh, concept. The style of this album I saw on Pinterest, and so I thought I'd give it a try, and I really do like um, parts of it. You will see that some page, not all the pages are done the same because, again, I was trying different things out um, for a prototype for another album. The paper that I used is the Little Safari. I've had it for a while, and I've made a couple of other albums. It's a 60 paper pack, so there's so much paper in here, 12 by 12. And you can see the cover is pretty well cut up because I used a lot of these little squares as um, places jour journaling tags in the album. So a lot of them have been cut off, but uh, this is a great paper. The paper I'm going to be using for the next album is this paper I picked up at Michael's. And it's called, um, uh, let me see, Painted Passport. And it's a Webster's Pages. And let me see if I can just zoom out a little bit here. You can see a little bit more of the paper. It's very, very pretty paper. Uh, and it's double-sided. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to get a lot of uh, the pages done with this paper. Um, it does come with a sticker sheet, which I'm not sure I'll use, uh, an alpha sticker sheet. I have so many alphas that I don't know what to do with them. But these are some of the pages that uh, the paper has. This is kind of a painted oh, gold circle, almost a coin type thing in little shades of gold and there's some beautiful pictures of the birds and let's see if I can turn it over and this is a uh, sort of like an Indian motif uh, kind of a Indian feather look a pink stripe a nice wide pink stripe I love stripes and on the back is a yellow star. This is kind of a bright piece. I'm not, that wouldn't be one of my favorite. And here's a nice cut apart for some tags in there. There's some really pretty tags. And just a plain uh, monochrome blue on the back. Another tag. These are four by six tags and these look to be maybe, well, various sizes, but these would be four by six. So they make great photo mats. And I like this pink, but unfortunately I want to use the tags probably more than the pink. This is cute. It's kind of a gingham with the, with the um, roses in the corners. That'll work up nicely. Very pretty. And then there's just a, a green checkerboard. This one is just a plain black with the today on it. I noticed a lot, and a lot of these have but like a, a, a little piece on the bottom. So this is great to keep for trimming on pages. There's a pretty rose pick painted one. This is beautiful, isn't it? It's like a sunrise or sunset. Problem with this particular one is that um, the image, to in order to get the whole uh, feeling of this image, it's kind of hard because it's much bigger than the pages will be. And then there's a monochrome in the, I guess it's more orange than yellow. And it's not the lighting. It does fade out in the middle and then get darker on the ends. And here's uh, some more cut aparts. So there's plenty of those. And this is kind of an interesting one. It, it almost looks like 
a collage of maps and it's sort of like uh, just some paper piercing piecing different and this is very pretty this is a nice a wood grain and there's a compass down here I don't know if it shows up too well and this if you notice is actually a map of the world this is North America South America and Europe and Asia were part of it <laughs> and then this is kind of cute um, this is kind of a travelogue really a travelogue page but this little strip down here you can't really see it too well but there's airplanes and um, I think it looks like maybe like the Golden Gate Bridge or something there and on the back you can see what was on the bottom the bottom is actually telling you what's on the back of it so there are airplanes and I'm not sure what the other thing is so I'm gonna put my glasses on see if I can see anything different oh now I can see it it is another airplane <laughs> this is a propeller and this is the the other the end of the airplane works better with the glasses on <laughs> and this is the last piece and this is another wood grain and it says good life down here in the corner and on the back of that one is uh, a, a, like a monochrome pink but it, it fades from corner to corner as opposed to up and down like the other one did so that's the paper I'm going to be using this is the paper I used and the album is kind of cute uh, the concept I'll tell you why it's a little bit different um, but this is uh, four and a quarter I'm pretty sure I measured it just now by six and a, a half and the spine is one and a quarter so I have it uh, closed and this just has some of the, the paper from the paper stack I'm going to zoom in just a little bit again now so we can get a better picture of the, the album. Okay. Um, paper stack. And one of the papers had these banners on it, so I used some twine. And the banners are not really attached at the bottom, only at the top. And then the side and the spine and the back are some of the paper and one of the cutouts. I fussy cut one of the elephants out. So, and it opens up like this. And here's the difference. This is a ring bound album. That's this cover is actually just that a cover, and the album will slide right in and out of this cover. So you actually could take it out, and it will lay very nicely and flat when you're trying to do any kind of journaling. And then uh, when you're all done, and you want to put it back in you just slide it back in the pocket and it really is kind of clever I, I like the idea and I hadn't made one like this before actually so on the inside cover we just have a um, photo mat and one of the cutouts that I put on some uh, craft card stock and then actually added some chipboard behind it so it would stand out and that allows for a photo to be placed behind it and all the pages are the same and I like I said some are embellished and some are not because I was trying different things each page has a flap that opens this way and I leave left most of these without covering this one I put one in to see but I kind of like it without because then when you put you could put a four by six pay um, picture on here and I want to be able to have a little border of the designer paper and this is what I did on each one of the inside flaps I created a little bit of a belly band or a pocket band to put one of these cutouts from the paper collection on and that can be used as a journaling spot because actually this isn't big enough for much of a picture and then uh, the flap comes back and when you turn it over there is a pocket on this side and there is a mat and this is will hold a three by five 
so you could put a picture in here and then each pocket has a pullout tag if I didn't get it stuck in there there we go <laughs> and each pocket has a pullout tag that I decorated on one side and it's just a plane on the other and I'm not going to put them all back in right now so moving on the next page the flap I put a little elephant here um, I had a lot of these embellishments in my stash most of them are Jolie's or some um, some of the others too I don't have too many baby things but I did have a few so I put those out there and it opens up and again you have your little journaling spot and there, there's a good size area for a picture here and again we have the tag over here um, we have another tag in here again as I said all the pages are basically the same and this was an elephant that was on the cover and I just kind of put the elephant in there and made a place for a journaling tag uh, another one over here this one pulls out this paper has a lot of um, glitter kind of in it some of the pages are glittered and you can see that these edges uh, this edge here was made with the envelope punch board as was the edge on the pocket and here you go over here we have a button and another little journaling tag um, not sure I'm thrilled with it I think I might put either a decorative edge or have some have my Cricut cut out something it's okay but I, I can make a prettier edge I think than that um, this is, and but what I did do, and I'll show you when I finish. Here we go. Another pull out journaling tag. And of course, I haven't been pulling them all out, but they all have tags. Again. And even with the ring binding here, it still is a pretty good size tag that can fit in here. So you're really getting a good uh, amount of pictures. Another, this one says, uh, future investor. Hey, baby, it's time to take stock. And it, it asks questions. My favorite toy is my silliest nickname. I can't get enough. My baby wise investment tip is. <laughs> and another little journaling, journaling spot. This was a piece of the paper I actually didn't use in the album, uh, in the 12 by 12 sheet, but I, I'm sure I'm going to use it. I love it. It's, it's clouds, but I just didn't find a place I wanted to use it in the album, so I didn't. And on this side, okay, and then the last page is uh, just a plain page with a cutout on there from the paper collection because this is a pocket for the uh, chipboard that slides in and out and see so that the album slides in here and closes this way and you can see from the top whoops <laughs> I think you can see from the top Wait a minute there you go. So when it opens, there's you know, plenty of opportunity to uh, write and um, put pictures in. This will hold a lot of pictures for such a small album. So that's what I did. I'm I, I'm happy with the way it turned out. I like this concept here. I'm going to be working with that other paper. Uh, the page uh, construction is fairly simple. I have one here that I can kind of show you. It's um, all one sheet of paper, and if anybody's interested, I can show how to make the paper, um, the pockets. This is the way it flaps here, and then when you turn it over, your pocket is added down here, uh, and then the binding goes here. So this doesn't have to be attached to the bottom. The binding will keep it closed. 
um, I'd be glad to show you how to make that page if you're interested. Just let me know in the comments. So that's it, and that's my little protocol for today, my little share. I hope you enjoyed it. It was kind of fun to make this. I'm, I'm going to get in the camera frame before I finish. Um, as you may have seen in one of my previous videos, I had to redo my room so I could make it a guest room slash craft room. And so I'm filming in a different spot and I haven't quite got it correct yet, but I will. Um, I think um, the area is, is nice for filming, but I haven't quite got the camera to the uh, depth I want to have right now. So there you go. Uh, have fun trying it. And if you want to know how to make these pages, I'd be glad to show you. And uh, I will be back when I have completed the other one and show you how that came out. Thanks a lot. Play nice. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.